Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, you know how I feel about coffee grinders, right? Yeah, they are something you should spend a lot of money on. It's more, it's so important. More important than the way you brew the coffee a lot of times, mm -hmm. coffee grinder. This is the Barazza Vario. We did a quick one before. Very high end grinder. You can use it for everything from espresso to pour overs to press pots. It, it spans the gamut. This is the Hario Skirt. It's a much less expensive manual grinder that's suitable for a couple of things. Uh, well, you can use it, it's, it's adjustable. Okay. So you can go between relatively coarse, relatively fine. fine. Uh, you can't use it to make espresso or something like that. I did try that this weekend. It went really badly. I mm -hmm. puck all over the place. Uh, so this guy right here adjusts how fine the, the grinder burrs are. Are there so, any level markers? Uh, no, that's one of the things that's oh. important to talk about. There are no level markers. So really the way to adjust it is to set it and then unscrew it and a little forget bit. forget it. No, well, you can forget it and okay. use it for one thing forever, which okay. works reasonably well. Yep. What I would probably recommend. Uh, but you can also adjust and you know fiddle and it, mm. it's not something you want to adjust back and forth all, You know like a, a high-end real grinder has levers that let you say yeah. this is my core setting This is my espresso setting. You don't get that. No either. real way to compare it to another grinder. No so, it's trial and, error. and and really there's no way to get a precise measurement You just have to kind of eyeball it. So like I think that that's pretty good But just your eyeballs it, just twisting it just messed it up So the way this works you can take the arm off for easy storage and travel one of the things that people do with this it's a good for backpackers if you travel a lot, want to have good coffee with when you. When I'm backpacking, I do not necessarily want to carry full beans and a grinder. I would just grind them beforehand. You're not serious, Norm. You need to focus on what's important in your okay. life. Get your priorities straight, boy. Right, I'm backpacking with a grinder. Yes, you're backpacking with a grinder or just traveling around Europe, okay. perhaps. Right. Not that you can't get good coffee in Europe. This is getting worse and worse. This little guy goes on top of here. It lines up with this ring underneath, and that's what locks the, the grinder shaft in place. And then you just put your handle on top. All right. It's relatively straightforward, and there's a little mm -hmm. screw. Screw it on. Screws on. Typically, depending on the setting, the, the coarseness, I lost about three tenths of a gram between what went in and what came out, and that's you know dust, whatever, that ends up in the mechanism. There's, there's no cover either. All right, so. No, so you don't want to store your coffee in the top. I'm just going to put some coffee in here. All right. I didn't measure it, but I want you to grind that and let me know right. how you think it is oh. as something that you would like to be doing mm. on an extended basis over and mm. over and over again. Grind faster, Chan. You got 25 grams of coffee to get through. This is not very comfortable. It is. You you have to hold it pretty hard. Now I have it set to relatively coarse here. Let's open it up and, and look okay. and see how coarse we are. I'm just going to dump this out on these white pieces of paper, and you can see this is pretty fine. This is, is about what I would do. Though? Uh, it's consistent enough. I found, I tried it with a bunch of different coffee making techniques, an AeroPress with a paper filter and with the metal filter from Coava. I tried the uh, Coava cone and a Chemex. I tried a Hario B60 pour over. Uh, I didn't do siphon, but I did do press pot. I found that you can't really get it coarse enough to do a good press pot. So uh, if you want to do a French press, something like that, mm -hmm. I would advise not getting this particular grinder. Mm. Um, you can, I'll show you how far out we can get yeah. the coarseness, because I think that's important to discuss. So it's pretty easy. Just eyeball it here. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit more coarse. Uh, I found it took about a minute and a half, two minutes to grind 25 grams of coffee, which is about what I use every day. Nice sound, too. It is. Pleasant grinding sound. Makes you think about your teeth, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Bad dreams. Let's pour that out. So oh, that's, that's a little bit more way coarse. coarser. Uh, I, I didn't you dump mix, all yeah, of the yeah, previous one out before, but uh, oh. yeah, so right. this is more coarse. And then let's bring it out all the way. It's still, like I said, isn't coarse enough for a French press, but it's pretty coarse. Uh, I used this setting, kind of this range for the cone. Yeah, that worked really, really well. The super fine worked okay with paper filters. I, I'm just generally not a huge fan of paper filter coffee, it turns out. Um, here we go. When I first put this together, I was like, wow, this arm is really long. That's kind of a surprise. And then yeah. I started you, trying you to grind. The you yeah, need you, the torque. You need the arm. So, uh, oh, well, there goes. I was making a mess. Might have made this a little bit too big. So, of course, the coarser you grind, the easier it's going to be. You can use this for spice mill or something like that, too, although I would advise against that because it will, you know, the flavor will stick with, yeah. the, with the burrs and you know, get the oils and stuff on there. All right. Uh, so, this is way too coarse. Yeah, this is going to be chunks. like if you were doing a, like a really long cold brew or something. Oh. Needed coffee sweepings. Awesome. That was a mistake. So that's illustrative of one of the problems with this. Because you don't have adjustment markers on here, it's really hard yep. to know how coarse you're fine you're gonna grind the coffee until you actually do it. You really just wanna find a sweet spot, keep yeah. it there. 
that, I mean, yeah. that would be my, once you dial this in once, you're probably not gonna adjust mm -hmm. it again until you, uh, until you wanna take it someplace with you. The nice thing is you can put the tip back on, take the arm off, mm -hmm. and it'll hold your setting yeah. uh, even when you're traveling, stuff like that. It's really designed for pour overs and stuff like that. Like, the place, the place you wanna use this is with the V60, a filter, drip machine, uh, Quava cone. I wouldn't go any finer than that. I wouldn't go any coarser. You're not going to do this with a press pod. Would not, you rather use that. this or an equivalent like $100 electric grinder? Um, it really depends on how you use it. The $100 electric grinder is much more convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it, I like convenience. It's faster. It's more convenient. You can get a good $100 grinder from someplace like like a Barazza. Yeah. Uh, I, I would recommend that unless you specifically want something to travel with. This is something, if I'm going to go away for two weeks and I want to have good coffee, I would actually take this. Although I will want to be that guy what? in Europe breaking what? out, opening the backpack, yeah. taking out the, yeah. the bag of coffee beans. You said it like it's a bad And thing. then the grinder, yeah. grinding the coffee yeah. beans at the coffee okay. shop. And then I wouldn't do it in a coffee press. shop. If I was in a coffee shop, well, you, you, don't you listen to what I said? water. You can't use a coffee. This yeah, for a French press. It's for pour over. Uh, or Aeropress. It was great with the Aeropress. Uh, this plus an Aeropress, I would totally put in the backpack and carry it around. Okay. Uh, so this is the Hario Skirton, fifty-five, sixty bucks. Uh, the instructions all in Japanese, like everything else from Hario. So you have to kind of figure it out as you go. The internet has told me that the plastic thing inside here tends to break after long periods of use. Can you replace it? Something to be aware of. It's relatively easy to re replace. Good. Uh, and you can actually do some preventative stuff with a little bit of water, a little washer that you can put in there mm. that will prevent it from breaking in the first place. Uh, I quite like it. It's 60 bucks. I think it's a good entry level grinder for people that want to build some incredible forearm strength. Takes, takes a, well, it's actually not so hard right now, but I think there's no coffee in it. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.